So another unique challenge to the top end that any gardener has to deal with is the water situation. Darwin is a place of extremes and we've either got too much water or not quite enough. Uh, so it's, it's your, your time as the gardener, from a gardener's perspective up here, is gonna be split 50-50 between having to be really efficient with water, with things like drip irrigation and making sure you've got your, 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 your sort of blanket on the soil in the form of mulch. Um, and that really insulates and stops those garden beds from drying out in the hot, dry winds and the hot, dry sun. Um, and then in the wet season, we're dealing with too much water. So we're thinking of, uh, of design strategies such as raised beds that get us up out of that sort of floodplain area, essentially, that can form in many yards in Darwin in particular. Um, so yeah, that's, it's, it's just dealing with those unique sides of the coin that Darwin presents us as, as food gardeners.